Hiya, Michael here again with a quick video how to use the Gelosia, that is the grid method of multiplication. And this has got so many advantages. The first one is it's very, very easy to use. Secondly, it puts the digits in the right place automatically. And if you're multiplying decimal numbers, then it also puts the decimal points in the right place automatically. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. OK, example 1, I'm going to multiply 326 by 29. So I write 326 here and 29 down there. I've got to move the camera a little. Now the first thing I do is to draw in diagonals. Now in each of these rectangles I multiply these numbers. So let's start 3 times 2, I put 0, 6. 2 times 2, 0, 4. 6 times 2, is 12. So I've put the tens digits above and the units digits below. If there's no tens I'll just put a zero. Right, 3 times 9 here 27. 2 times 9 18. 6 times 9 54. Now all I do is add up along the diagonals. That gives me 4, put it there. 2 add 5 is 7, add 8 is 15. Put the 5 there, I put 1 there. So I carry the 10 up to there. That's 8, 9, and 4 is 13, 1 is 14. Put the 4 there, 1. 3 and 6 is 9. And zero, nine. And there's nothing to carry there. So the answer, 326 multiplied by 29, is 9454. And if you want to check that using a calculator, I think you'll find it's right. Now, the other advantage of this is that it puts the decimal point in the right place automatically. Let's have a look at this. 18.4. 18, I'm going to put the points there. 4 multiplied by 3.6. Again, put in the diagonals. And it's exactly the same as before. 1 times 3 is 3. 8 times 3, 24. 4 times 3, 12. 4 times 6, 24. 8 times 6, 48. 1 times 6. Now, the decimal point comes there, so it goes along there. So the decimal point meets and goes down the diagonal. Now exactly the same as before, we add up along the diagonals. 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 8 is 12, 2 down, carry 1 up to there, 7 and 4 is 11, 15, 16, 6 down, carry 1. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 2 is 6. And I've got a 0 there. So the answer is 66.24. There we go. Nice, quick, easy, and it always puts the decimal point in the right place automatically. You might know the rule if you count up 
the number of decimal number of digits behind the decimal point one there another one there that's two in the answer you always get two digits one from there one from there is two so that puts the decimal point in the right place automatically but this method does it as well there you go use it have fun with it